Hello guys and welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 video. Today I'm at St Pancras International in London which is my favourite station in the game and in real life and today we're going to be driving this this TGV here which is currently situated at platform 10 I believe, I believe that's platform 10, international platforms without further ado we're going to get it started and we're going to explain just a few in just a few moments what I am going to do with this service so let's just get every safety system on first things first PS4 uh, performance has definitely improved oh, has definitely improved uh, after the latest update which was last week yes okay fine let's get some doors open clear this light now this is a complicated cab to uh, operate hang on this has to be an LGV nope uh, hang on I'm guessing that's supposed to be an LGV let's see if this works hang on there we are finally um, let's get stuff so yeah, this is a TGV which we will be driving towards Ashford International, um, calling at Ashford International only, uh, and be basically doing 9Z22 St Pancras International to Ashford International, Le Français Formidable. Now, so this is basically a timetabled service in the game. Uh, but first things first, this is the international platforms have to get a picture perhaps underneath under the lights yeah perfect okay so yeah as you can see uh, you couldn't be able to do this in the old game um, because there were never any uh, high speed services running but today we're going to be taking a look at what it's like to drive a train at speeds of higher than 140 miles per hour so further ado uh, hang on I need to get just a couple more things set up All right. one last thing is gauge lights and then we'll be good to go there we are let's go next station is in 51 miles So yeah, I'm feeling excited about this video, hopefully you are too. Ever since I got the game I've always wanted to try it out, I haven't had the opportunity to do to be being busy and doing other routes as well. I've quite enjoyed doing a 465 and 375 on South Eastern. Um, but yeah, now today we are finally going to get the opportunity to have a look at the TGV on High Speed 1. I believe our train is only nine cars, is this right or is it coupled? No, okay. It's eight cars plus two power cars. Lighting is absolutely brilliant, obviously represents clear sky. Uh, yeah. As mentioned earlier, I am on PlayStation 4. So do bear that do bear that in mind whilst watching this video. And you may have noticed as well that I am uh, increasing the number of Train Sim World three shorts I'm doing. Um, I believe that's strong to uh, channel growth and watch hours. Uh, although I'm not sure if that counts as watch hours. To be fair, um, but yeah, so far I've really been enjoying this game. 
I know many of you will be questioning me probably in the comments or after this uh, premiere why haven't I decided to put this in Eurostar livery perhaps download the livery of Creators Club well I'm only here to try out the service first and then we'll think about Eurostar in the future sometime perhaps in a live stream I can show off a Eurostar livery got a moving 66 train on my left obviously that's underneath me I'm in the uh, I'm in the tunnel so yeah we'll be passing Stratford International at speed and Absolute International at speed hopefully on the international track so that should be the far left on the international platforms the very the furthest the track that's furthest left we should be passing okay right 200 kilometers an hour Our top speed for today will be 186 miles per hour, which will be achieved once we have passed Ebsfleet International. Okay, so we're currently at 200 kilometers per hour. Now that's going to increase to 230. Is that what it says? It is. I don't know why Dovetail have increased the lighting for the TVM. I've got no idea how to uh, decrease that. Perhaps gauge lights, not sure. Hang on. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sh sure really how to decrease that lighting, but I can just about see that that's 230. Yeah, and we're, we're already there, so this train has better acceleration than the, cla than the class 395, which is always, always lovely to see. This is my favourite train in the game, TGV, which you can only drive on this route if you have the LGV Méditerranée Marseille to Avignon route, uh, which in my opinion is incredible if you don't have it already. Already going 143 miles per hour as we approach Stratford International. There we are on the middle platform as expected. Okay. Frame rate has reduced to about four frames per second, probably more, five, four or five. I think it's best that I just keep to this uh, cab view. I'm using selected speed mode, which means the train should naturally adapt to gradients. Um, yeah. It's... The TVM is similar to LZB, however, not exactly the same. I do prefer LZB, which is the um, German high speed signaling system, safety system. Um, because the LZB actually stops the train for you on some occasions, except at Würzburg. Okay, so it's not laggy anymore, which is good to some extent. 
So yeah, if you're driving the TGV and you want to see the, uh, the outside of the train at Stratford International, you're going to receive like six frames per second. Just a warning. <laughs> I have been um, not making many videos like these ones uh, recently. I've had a bit of a cold uh, and a bit of a hoarser voice as well. So um, I wasn't able to, uh, to create videos like these. Which is why I have I have been uh, sticking to shorts and some funny videos, including the last one. Uh, have a look on the top right of the screen. That is the one where I um, well something happened on rapid transit. I'll leave that for you to find out if you haven't done so. <laughs> it is quite funny because I didn't expect it to happen. Looks like we're on the final stretch of the uh, of the tunnel. There we are, and we are on the outside of HS1, cruising at 143 miles per hour. To be fair, I'm going to do this headless. Train should uh, control itself. On the left is the uh, Tilbury Loop Line slash London Tilbury and South End Railway. However, I believe that's the Upminster section. You can also find some Freight 66s here as well, um, just stable. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I can see the TVM 230 now. It's not as bright, but it is still kind of bright. Always best when you drive the TGV in clear weather, because, I mean, <laughs> it just looks gorgeous. Shame it's not a double TGV to make it, how long would it be? It would be 16 cars plus 4 power packs. Actually thought the QE2 bridge was the So yeah, I mean, look, for this service, you've got four um, Southeastern High Speed layered services um, if you have the TGV. You can just find them by picking a, a train on the main menu. So press to the trains, then pick a train, TGV, Series 200, um, Southeastern High Speed, Kent High Speed, 2019, and then pick one of the four services you wish to drive. Okay, this is the QE2M25 bridge. 
uh, it's not officially called the M25. The bit that's on the bridge isn't called the M25, officially. Okay, we're going down. This should decrease. Yeah, it's good. It, the uh, TVM is responding well. Not too far from Ebb's fleet now. Eurostar services don't serve here anymore. Well, it's been suspended, but that suspension has been uh, lengthened further. This has been extended till uh, 2025. There we are. Let's see what track we're going to pass Ebb's fleet at. Okay, right, so it is the very far platform, which is perfect. It's not platform, it's the track. So you've got the um, overhead section here for the 395s going towards the North Kent line and the Chatter main line. Um, and it looks like... Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Looks like the gamer kind of... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not too sure what happened there, actually, but fair enough. Uh, at least I didn't derail the train or anything. The tracks just disappeared and you never had line equipment. And I couldn't see Epsweet International, but never mind. Still doing the service. There are a few tunnels um, on this stretch of the line. Uh, you'll also see that we'll be uh, rejoining, we'll be joining the section where the old Eurostars used to go. You'll see that here we are. This is where the old Eurostars used to uh, come from, from London Waterloo. They'd come from this section over here. And now we can go up to 270, but it's flashing, unfortunately. Not sh sure why that is. Let's get up to 270. There we are. Okay, we've got a, a steep gradient. Oh, two. Okay, when that happens, I believe that's because we've got a train ahead. I think so. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, we've got a 395 ahead of us. I'm going to keep it here. If it does go low, then we're in a bit of a bit of trouble. Okay. So I'm under the impression I'm going to put the HUD back on. The, that the train is going to alternate between 2:30 and 2:70. Obviously, we are going faster than the 395, so I do have to be cautious. Yeah, we, we are definitely going faster than the 395 ahead of us. So it looks like we're not going to be able to uh, go up to 186 miles per hour, but that doesn't matter. We're still going high speed.
if for some reason the TVM decides it's going to go lower than 230 kilometers per hour. Speaking of that, we're passing the Medway River, the A A M2 motorway is on my left, and the Maidstone East Line is below me. It's this one. Uh, hang on, this one. That's the Maidstone East Line. This is the Chatham Main Line. So we're running parallel to uh, the Rochester slash Strood section of the uh, Chatham Main Line. In my opinion, we are a bit in, we are a bit fortunate. We are using the TVM. Okay, so it's going. It's changing at a much quicker rate. This is the North Downs Tunnel, uh, not to coincide with the North Downs Line. North Downs Line is nowhere near here. It's um, the line between Reading and uh, Red Hill. Yeah, it's changing quicker. I'm not going to force break this train because I do believe yeah it, it keeps alternating because you kind of have to be careful here because if it goes lower than 230 then I'm in a bit of trouble the train will you know break like an emergency break so I don't want to Kick the emergency brake off, because I'll just be stupid and careless. As you can see on the speedometer, it's it's yellow, but we're still getting maximum amount of action points because we are technically still within the speed limit. It's just an advisory um, color to make sure, well, to alert the driver that you are over speeding the, uh, the in-cab signalling system so you're not obeying it um, so we should be approaching, hang on, okay we're not there yet Okay, right. That is not promising, is it? I'm actually very lucky the the emergency brakes didn't go off. I'm gonna put it at two twenty. Isn't it just so annoying when you've got a bit of traffic ahead of you? So now we should be uh, running next to the M20. Yep, here it is, M20. The road I've been on multiple times. Honestly, this livery under the uh, under the sun is brilliant. Um, yeah, I believe this is Boxley Tunnel. Looks like it. 
Yeah, it's Boxley Tunnel. Right, okay, that's better. Let's get back to 250. Or maybe not. Okay, right. Yeah. Well, I guess that's what you get for uh, having a train ahead of you. Uh, so that only happens if you have the TVM on, I think. Right. Let's see if I can get things back to normal. Okay, I've got the pantograph and stuff. Okay, let's get this off. KVB. It's the TVM and KVB that's done that. We're not late, so we're not going to lose any action points. We're just delaying the people who want to go on this rail tour anyway. Uh, right, I've... I should, should be... on my way hopefully please please, please train, okay uh, I hope I haven't messed things up completely pantograph up, pantograph up, okay right how do you recover from an emergency situation. Now, I have, I have, this has never happened to me. Okay, you're right. Got power. Okay. Nope. Hmm, yeah. It is a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Alright, I'm going to find a way to uh, get this thing back moving. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back soon. Okay, so I finally found a way. It took me about 10 minutes or so, but I did find a way of getting the brakes back so let's just release the brakes we'll be going hopefully yep there we are I believe uh, 
it would have been better if we got to proper t like if we didn't have, have any traffic ahead of us but oh well I did kind of want to go fast oh there's a javelin going the other way okay so the, at the moment the TVM is stable at 300 which is good kind of full speed I don't care about acceleration right so we're getting back to speed now Okay. Getting back up, back up to good speed now. Okay, so it's stable at 270, that means speed limit's 270. Yeah, and green signal. So now I don't have to worry about the 395 ahead of me. It's flashing, that means it's, I believe it's going to drop. Yep. Okay, right. I believe we're going to be uh, breaking further and further. We are now crossing the M20. Love it when I do that. Absolutely loving it. Two one sixty, okay. That's hundred miles an hour, kind of. We're just 2.2 miles away. From Ashford International, which is our destination on this route. Some 55 miles from London. But yeah, to be fair, I did have lots of fun besides, you know, having to 
deal with all of this. One thirty. Okay. So I believe now this is the strange bit. Okay, so we've already split onto the platform tracks. The high speed tracks on our right. They dive underneath us and they merge on the left. So we're now joining the uh, main, uh, I don't know, the southeastern main line, and I don't know what that line is still. Could start to break now. Oh, already? Is it, is it, is it raining? Should start to break now. It's already raining. Oh, well, isn't that strange? Okay, hopefully I can make it. 50 miles now coming in. That's just careless. We made it. And we, are we on the correct platform? We are. So this is brilliant. We're actually on the international platform. Southeastern platforms on the left and on the far right slash southern platform. You can see a 375 there. Gonna ease the braking a bit. Yes, yeah, so this is the point where uh, uh, frame rate's gonna reduce to a very slow rate because of course we've got Ashford International Memory plus um, obviously you've got the 375 on the left and of course you've got the uh, flyover Ashford, Ashford flyover over there so that's pretty good that is pretty cool I should have already stopped come on train so yeah, it's just these two platforms that Eurostars use here at Ashford, well before Covid at least. Oh, and we don't even have to open the doors because this train shouldn't really be stopping here, it should be making its way to Europe. But there we are, we've done the um, London to Ashford route with the TGV instead of the 395. 35 minutes, um, which, is, which is cool to travel 56 miles. Hopefully you enjoyed it, apart from the... Uh, the little bit of a, of a slip up there halfway through. We managed to make it. We didn't give up, we got a gold medal. So let's return to the main menu. And we'll end the video there. So thanks very much guys for watching. If you did like it, please do make sure to like and subscribe. Um, now that I've got Trinity Mod 3, I can make like a few videos now and here and then. Um, also um, make maybe a couple of live streams whenever I feel like it um, add some shorts as well so stay tuned for that there's also a link to the discord server if you want to chat all things trains um, and link to the PayPal as well um, both of those links into the in the in the description so thanks all very much for watching and bye bye for now